Hello everybody, I'm El Bristow and you're watching Elotopia Gaming and we are back with another first play episode. This time we are having a look at a game from a company called Copy Bug Paste and this game is Homebrew. Now the developers describe this game as a sand lot, not a sand box, a sand lot taking its name from a parking lot because this is a sandbox vehicle building and driving and flying game so it's something a little bit different you know not like some of the other sandbox games that we've seen like uh, minecraft and star bound and star something else and some something else craft um this is a little bit different we have WASD keys to walk around and as is always the case with my first play episode this is the first time I have played this game I have been very careful not to watch any other gameplay videos on YouTube because I want this to be a genuine first impression of this game we have a hammock here which we appear to be able to sleep in I don't know whether that's a left click or a right click or a key press but we're being told to get to the workshop, get to the chopper. So we are heading over to the Joe Dan work workshop. Joe Dan? I'm guessing Joe and Dan might be the developers. Random guess. Press E to open the workshop console. Construct vehicle. Press the new button. New. Enter a name for your vehicle and click create new vehicle. Uh, name. Vehicle name name where oh there we go right uh what should we call it uh let's call it the elitopia mobile elitopia mobile there we go create new vehicle and here we are in the workshop i have right click controls i still have was the controls but we are now flying around in like a free cam mode Let's build ourselves a ride. To get started, click on the Vehicle Builder button. But first, click the image on the right to enlarge it. When you know what to do, press Next on the tutorial. Click the image on the right here. Oh, right, I see. Okay, so the image is to show us what button we're supposed to be pressing. Right, so is that down here? There we go. Uh, let's... Vehicle Builder, there we go. Um, could could perhaps maybe work in some way rather than having a picture here just to put the arrow on the screen maybe I don't know note for the developers there but uh, there we go um, oh I will mention I did have some login problems which I have mentioned to the developers because I was using a particular special character in my password uh, which was preventing me from logging in I have mentioned it to the developers and they're going to get that patched up as soon as possible but if you're having problems logging in when you do get to play this game that could be the reason but there you go uh, so we are in the oh I came out of it and now I can't go back into it or, or are we in it I, I definitely pressed it Oh, I see, right, it's just a different mode. There we go. So we are in the vehicle builder, and we appear to have a grid on the floor here. So, uh, next. Open the parts browser, then click on line 9. Uh, okay, parts builder. Oh, no, that's spawn. Yeah, spawn object. Ah, oh, there we go, right. Click on none line 9 okay I selected it next click on the spawn button six times one two three four five six okay we actually spawn the parts into the world and I'm guessing we yeah we can click and drag them around that's nice okay so they're actually like they're, they're physical parts that we drag around except it won't won't let me drag it now hmm okay move your camera by using the 
ZQSD. ZQSD or WASD. I'm guessing ZQSD must be a a different country's keyboard layout. Uh, to rotate the camera by holding down the right mouse button, then fly to a better position and select the outer plane on the line 9 object. I'm guessing it says line 9, that's obviously a placeholder for the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Right. Oh, okay. There then. Select a plane on the green cube to connect it with line 9. Uh, oh, okay, okay. All oh, right, okay. Well, that's that's better than uh, than dragging it around, I guess. To break connections, click the blue connection disc with your middle mouse button. <laughs> okay. Right, so we click what we want to connect, and we connect it like so. Okay, fair enough. Rotate the pre repeat the previous step until you get the illustrated result right. Okay, so we want one like that, one on the back like that, one like that, like that. Like that. Ooh, okay, I'm not too keen on these controls. But uh, the actual construction method is relatively easy to follow. Open the parts browser, select curve 5. Okay. So, curve 5. These, hope, these place names, placeholder names, will hopefully be uh, replaced soon enough. We're attaching these to the front by the looks of it. Connect it as illustrated. How do I. Can I rotate it? Maybe I have to do it from this side. There we go, okay. I could see that getting annoying. Yeah, see we have to make sure we've selected the right end of it. But there we go. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around. I've done it on the front instead of the back. So let's move those. Disconnect that, put that. No. That one on there, okay. Right. Oh, to, <laughs> to rotate connections, click the blue disc. Right, okay. I see. Here's an idea. When you're being given a tutorial, read it, because it might actually answer the question you're trying to find the answer to. Um, spawn for wheel mounts. Wheel mounts. I'm guessing they're in parts, are they? Wheel mount. One, two, three, four. And connect them as illustrated. What end do we click on them? Get up. No, other way. Ah, there we go. Right. Uh, how are they illustrated? Hold on. Pointing downwards, pointing downwards. Right. Okay. So, click the blue circle to rotate them. It's not quite as fluid a construction process as I'm used to from games like Kerbal Space Program. It, it does make sense, it is logical, and it possibly is a little more controllable than Kerbal Space Program, but there are definitely some disadvantages I foresee with uh, with the control of this construction method but maybe as I get used to it 
it might become uh, a bit more manageable. There's a seat on that one. Oh, spawn a seat. I missed that. Okay, spawn a seat. Well, let's, let's spawn a seat then. There we go. <laughs> Again. Read the instructions, dummy. Uh, can I connect it? Where do I connect it? With that one, maybe? On there? Is that about right? Oh. Mm. Mine looks a bit further forward, so let's disconnect that. And maybe we'll get underneath it. Grab that one. And we'll put it a little bit further back. Whoa. Uh, oh, come on. That one. Right, okay. Yeah, that's more like the picture. Okay, so we're quite catching up now. Two fuel tanks. Fuel tank. One, two. And we want them just behind the wheels. It's a strange place for a fuel tank. Upside down. Okay. I'm not sure that that's the best place for your fuel tanks on a car, but uh, here we go. Spawn one 110cc ATV engine. 110cc ATV engine. And attach it where? On the back. Seems like a good place for the engine. Uh, I need to actually spawn it, probably be a good idea. Rear wheel drive. Well, no, not rear wheel drive, sorry. Rear engine. Um, okay, so we don't quite look exactly the same. This is still not quite in the right place. So I think we were supposed to use the center block, but we were meant to attach it. Oh, okay, I think I knocked it flying. Yes, I did. But we were perhaps supposed to attach it there like so. Oh, it's near enough. It's near enough. Click on the brake. Click on the bake button. Bake button? Bake. Okay. The colour should shift from red to grey. This indicates that your vehicle is saved. Okay. Fair enough. Click on the tuning area to proceed. Which is which one? That one. Okay. Our wheels are all facing in the wrong direction. Click on the link all button. It automatically links the controls of all components to one seat. Auto link, is that what they mean? Yeah, okay. It's will link all components to one seat. Okay. Select the steering wheel. Once selected, its properties will appear in the settings panel. Click on the steer input property and select axis horizontal one. Okay, starting to get a little bit lost. Again, might be because of place name holders. Hold down the left shift and select both fuel tanks. One, two. I'm guessing not with the steering wheel connected. Click on the consumer's property to link the engine with the fuel tanks. Link. Does that work? Looks like it. Right, I see. You're getting a little yellow ball to tell us what things are linked to. Can I change the direction of these wheels? Not really too sure that we want them. Oh, I see. Those two are facing that way. Those two are facing that way. I don't really know what's going on there. The yellow dot indicates that the fuel tanks are linked with the engine. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, I'll work that bit out. Select all your wheels and select the wheel type property. Select all your wheels. One, two, three, four. Wheel type property to dirt big. Dirt big. Ooh. Nice, nice wheels. Select both of your front wheels and enable the steering by changing the can steer property. Can steer. Oh, I see that's on or off. Select the engine and click the wheels property. Hold down the left shift and click left click your wheels to link them to the engine. All your wheels, right, okay, so we're having a four wheel four wheel drive rear engine. Clicking on nothing, the floor, to complete the linking process. Notice the yellow dots indicating the parts are linked. Select both left wheels and enable their left wheel property. Wow, this, this is quite complicated. You don't have to do this for the right wheels. Yeah, because they're not left wheels. Okay, I can get that. Click on the camera button to take a picture of your vehicle. Oh, okay. It's not really much of a... A vehicle as such, is it? Uh, camera? Where's the camera? Camera lock. Leave. Where's the camera button then? Oh, is that it? Okay. Picture. Cha-ching! Save the vehicle and its properties by baking it. Save. This concludes your first tutorial. Press the leave button and try out your new vehicle. Leave button. That one, okay. Take it out onto the mountain in the sunlight. Leave! Uh, where is my vehicle? Oh, is that it over there? Get to the gate. Get to the gate. Oh. Am I... A gnome? I have a voice like a gnome. Leave me alone. Right, leave dome. Press E to leave the dome. We are outside. This is the valley, a vast place for you to test out your vehicle. This is where the fun bit starts, I presume. How do we... Uh, walk to the objective marker, open your map by pressing M. Ooh, ah, come back. Right. Well, we're not that far away from it. Heading to the objective marker. Ooh, that's a nice looking planet thing up there. I haven't actually checked what my graphic settings are. I literally just checked the screen size and and left it at that. It's not too bad. Could maybe do with some some polish on the trees there, but that might be my setting. So we'll check that in a moment. Press I to open your inventory. Select your vehicle. Press I to close your vi inventory. Press zero mouse zero mouse zero. To throw the quando in the air. Oh, that was mouse one. Enter the seat. Ah, enter the seat by pressing E. Here we go. Hold down W to throttle. Hold down to brake. I think that's S. A and D to steer. And finally press X to start the vehicle and proceed. Test your vehicle and pick up some orbs while you're at it. Okay. Orbs. Oh, there's an orb. I can see an orb. Press escape to leave your seat. No. Something's not right. It's, uh... Something's fighting against me there. Pulling to the left. Like so. Oh! Ouch. Press escape to leave your seat. 
There we go. I think this back wheel, yeah, is spinning the wrong way. So let's go back to the dome. Where was the dome? This way. And we'll see if we can correct that. Maybe I didn't pick, I would have to go, we'll have to go left to go right and then hold right to go straight. Whoa. Oh, there's the machine. Right, let's get out. Let's check. Let's see if we can edit this vehicle. It was this way. Do we have a run? What's this? Post box. Yeah. Browse warehouse. Right, this is a part count, I presume. What's over here? Oh, a bin. Can we run? Oh, we can. Shift to run. Good. It does seem like there might be some survival element coming in the game. Doesn't appear to be one at the moment. Oh, no, not remove the vehicle. Edit vehicle. But uh, the fact that there's a bed and like a limited supply means there might be some survival minute yeah look at that that wheels facing completely the wrong way left wheel there we go I did spot that earlier I should have uh, should have been more astute so let's leave and we'll go and test that properly now uh, we'll run back up to there oh before we do that let's just check our options check our graphic settings uh, full res, tree distance, grass details, yeah, have grass details on, anti-aliasing on, depth of field on, uh, da, 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 da. grass quality is high, shadow quality is high, okay, let's see if that makes a difference, oh, back, back, uh, oh yeah, the trees do look a little bit better now, Grass doesn't look much different. Maybe you can rewind and check that, see if the grass looks any better. So let's go. Is our car gone? Yeah, okay. So inventory, this one. No, there we go. Left click. Oh, threw it over there. I like that, how it, it kind of constructs in the air. Um, let's jump in, start the engine, we do have more control, though we don't have a very good turning circle, luckily because the wheels are about, about a mile apart from each other, not really too sure what this box is supposed to be in front of us, is it literally just our kind of field of view? Oh, bang. Okay. Um, no self-writing mechanism. What have we got on the controls? Throttle input, activation input, handbrake input, brake, steer. No. So we, we don't appear to have any way to correct ourselves. Can we leave our seat? <laughs> Uh, maybe push it. Hey, look at that. There we go. Right. Back in. Let's explore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. No, I'm trying to reverse. Maybe I don't have a reverse. 
I didn't fit a gearbox, so it's quite possible I don't have a reverse gear. Well, I mean, there's certainly wool in the water. Uh, yeah. Car... Not... Not boat. Car not floating much. Let's push it out. And then go, go, go! Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I upset it that time. Oh, there's a nice little bridge over there. Um, come on. Come on, car. Come on, car. No, okay. Can I spawn a new one? Let's get up here. Oh, what's over there? There's a lot of things around. There's things in the air, because you can... You can build aircraft in this. Possibly not in the demo. Uh, demo. This is the review version that I've got here. Um, Alright, let's see if I can... Oh, look, there we go. Did that spawn another one, or did it unspawn this one? Yeah, it looks like it, it despawned that one. And let us spawn a new one. So let's get back in here. Start the engine. Come on. There we go. And we're off. It's a big, a big square thing over there. Looks like a, a dam. Whoa. Handbrake. <laughs> I like the... Uh, Whoa. It's it's tricky to control, but you would expect that. Yeah, look, it's much easier on here. I think they need to do a little bit of work with the physics to stop the car feeling like you're kind of hovering over the the terrain. But it's not too bad driving around. Can I drive on the wall? Oh, not if I do it like that, I can't. And I'm in water again. Okay. Two cars lost. Well, I, th I think this is going to be uh, an interesting little thing to have a play around with. Um, interesting to see what we can create with this. Perhaps keep your eye out on my channel to see if I post any more videos of things that I have created with Homebrew. Thank you for watching, guys. I have been El Bristo, you have been watching Elotopia Gaming, and we have been playing Homebrew from Copybug Paste. You can download the demo from their website right now. There are not quite as many parts as there are available in this review version that I have, but it's certainly something for you to have a look at and play around with. You can do this tutorial that uh, I have just done here. And, uh, well, just have a play and see what you come up with. I will certainly be following this game to see where it's going to be going and what new updates will be coming in the future. I appear to have lot of oh, the domes right the way over there, so I've got a bit of a walk home. Thank you for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. See you later guys.